Hi, today we're just going to make a short video about uh, how you might dis uh, create a mock-up of a t-shirt for a customer so that she can see what you're planning to do for her. Um, this isn't a real design, I just put this uh, together to have something simple for the video. And let's say I'm going to take this design and I'm going to print it on that red uh, t-shirt in white ink. So obviously I would be using this for my artwork. So I'm ready to go but before I do that I need her to look at it to make sure I'm doing it the way she wants. So if I reverse my design and superimpose it on top of that shirt it'll look something like this. Um, so the white parts are correct but this uh, black actually wants to be as if the red t-shirt was showing through. So, uh, my first inclination might be, okay, I'll turn it red. So turn those red, and I'm not real happy with that. I mean, you can get the idea, but that red is a little bit different than the, than the shirt, and it doesn't look very realistic. This looks kind of fake, and perception is important with customers because she, if she looks at this, she's going to think you're not really trying very hard to make this look good for her. And that doesn't totally give her an idea what it's going to look like. In fact, if this red is too far off, she might even think you're printing a different red in there. What you really want is to use the exact red of the shirt. Now, there are a few things I can do here. The first thing you should try is to combine this. See if you can just get rid of that black. And for a lot of designs, that's going to be your best uh, option. So I'll hold down Shift and, and select my stick and my outline there, which is really a, a shape, not an outline. I'll go up here to my Combine command, see how that looks. And as you can see, because of the way I drew it, that didn't give me exactly the result I wanted to. And to make this work, I'm going to have to go in there and do a bunch of hand uh, elimination of nodes and whatnot. So that's probably not the way I'm going to do this. It's more trouble than it's worth. As I said, for a lot of uh, artwork, that will do the trick. Um, so this one, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'll do something that may you may or may not have seen before. I'm going to go over here to my menu bar. I'm going to pick this eyedropper here. And that's going to allow me to sample a color from my JPEG. And I can choose my sample size. I'll get it relatively large, 5 by 5 pixels, so I get a good even sample. And I'll come over here. You can see my eyedropper. I'm just going to take a sample of that color, which is now on uh, my palette as the color I'm working with. I'll bring my eyedropper over here so you can see what it does. If I hold down Control and Shift on my keyboard, it turns into a little can. See that how it changes from an eyedropper into a little can? I can take my little can over here and fill that interior of the stick with the color of the shirt. And I'll do the same thing. See if I can get this. And I got it. So now, as you can see, we have a, a fairly realistic. It doesn't look perfect because as you can see he's got a shadow wrinkle here. There are some ways you can make this look more realistic. We're not going to get into that on this video. But basically if you do a transparent shadow and lay it over the top you can get some of this a little bit more realistic looking uh, shadow areas into your uh, print to make it look like it's going over the top of the print. Um, but there are some good videos you can watch on that. And um, if you want to take it to that next step, that uh, I would certainly encourage it. But back to what we were doing, let's try something a little bit different. Let's say we're going to print it on a Heather Gray shirt in black ink, not white. So um, I've gotten it back to, to black, and now we have a problem with this white fill. It's the same thing. We want that gray shirt to show through. But if I just take a color sample, with the eyedropper, it's not going to pick up all that cool pattern in there with the lighter and darker grays as in a heather fabric. And I really want it to look as real as I can. So instead of the uh, 
eyedropper fill. I'm going to copy my JPEG and paste it right on top of itself. And I'll move it back just far enough to see what I'm doing. And I'll go up to your, here to my menu bar, something you probably already are familiar with, power clip, place inside container, and I'll put it right in that fill. And I'll copy this again, paste it, down, 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 down. I don't need to go all the way down because all I want is that little thing right there. Once again, effects, power clip, go to that little white line, see if I can get this. I might have to zoom in, but let's try it. Yeah, we got it. Okay, now we've got the pattern of the uh, Heather uh, Athletic Gray, which appears to be showing through the way it will on the print. I'll zoom in here. And we can see that's a fairly uh, realistic looking rendition of what this shirt is going to look like. And that is going to work fine for your customer. As I said, this, this wouldn't be for an advertisement. You'd want to work a little bit harder than this. But for a quick mock-up, those are a couple of techniques you can use. And I hope your next project goes well.